Good morning, my dear friends in Christ. Good morning. I want to believe you are all doing very well. Yeah, I think the rains delayed us a bit, but it's all good. Better late than never. Uh -huh. Better late than never. Dear friends in Christ, in the course of the week, we read about what Job went through as a man who loved God and wished to serve God to the end. And today in the gospel reading, we also hear the success of the disciples because a few days ago, Jesus commissioned them to go and proclaim the good news and he sent them two by two. And as they went, he asked them not to go along with anything. He gave them the prescription that they should do, follow. And today we hear the results of that sacrifice they made. And same in the first reading, we hear the results of what Job also got. My theme for you this morning is that leave room for hope. Regardless of what you go through, leave a little room for hope. It may, the whole situation may cloud you, may overwhelm you, but leave room for hope. That small room Job left is what made him who he is today in the first reading that God blessed him more than previously. And that small room the disciples also left for Jesus Christ is what made them who they are today. That they were able to cast out demons, they were able to heal the sick when they were sent. So regardless of what we go through, regardless of how life hits us so hard, let us leave a little room for hope. Because God is going to use that small hope you have in him or that little hope you have in him to manifest something greater in your life. So let us not be overwhelmed. Yes, it will hit us so hard. We will feel like giving up. But this morning, we want to encourage ourselves that at least let us leave an iota of hope. Just leave that one for God. That's his own. And he was going to penetrate that space and make greater things manifest in our lives. Let us not despair. He himself created us. And fortunately, he has the bigger picture. He sees the end from the beginning. But because we live in the day, we think that that is the end of it. But the one who has the bigger picture will take advantage of that little room for hope and make something great come out of it. May he bless and keep all of us. Amen.